in this lecture let's uh, explore about the bus matrix engine of the microcontroller and uh, you can see in ti's microcontroller also we have a bus matrix isn't it so that means um, i think most of the microcontroller use this bus matrix uh, it's necessary okay and in this lecture let's explore what exactly is this so for that what i want to do is i want to use one application node which is very nice okay this application node is actually from ST on DMA controller okay so, but you do not worry about DMA controller at all okay so if you don't know about DMA so just forget it so for this lecture it's not required okay but why I am using this application node because there is one nice diagram which explains bus matrix okay so I'll just open that okay I also attached this uh, document to this uh, lecture okay you can just open that now just search your bus matrix okay so here it is okay so now what i do is so this bus matrix applies to these controllers okay so if you have some different controller then diagram may be slightly different okay so but so whatever i'm going to explain applies to all those diagrams okay all those different controllers diagrams okay don't worry about which microcontroller I'm using okay just understand the working principles okay all right so I just copied this into my PPT okay so in this diagram at the top what you are seeing in the uh, yellow boxes those are called as masters okay these are masters and the right hand side these uh, green boxes and all these uh, things what you are seeing here okay so all these are actually slaves okay okay so these are slaves and this box is actually a bus matrix okay and this is called as multi AHB bus matrix that's because we have multiple AHB buses on the slave side okay uh, and you will see lots of connected dots here which actually says that okay there is a path for master to communicate to the slave okay in microcontroller the communication between processor to uh, peripheral is um, seen from the scope of uh, communication between a master and a slave okay for example in our microcontroller we have a processor that is arm cortex right so that is actually master okay so a microcontroller will at least have one master that is the processor itself so that is this one okay and the microcontroller may be having couple of other masters okay for example in this microcontroller okay we have uh, ethernet as a master high speed usb 2.0 as a master dma1 as a master and dma2 as a master okay so don't worry about these other masters okay so that that is actually not included in this course to discuss other masters okay so we'll just concentrate on our main master that is cortex m processor okay now you know that the cortex m processor gives out three buses to communicate to the slaves so now let's consider the d bus first okay so now you can see that there are four dots here mentioned in this line right that actually means that the master can use the d bus to communicate to the sram one it's possible okay the processor can use d bus to communicate to sram two it's possible and processor can use dbus to communicate to the fsmc okay this is uh, actually uh, external memory controller okay so just don't worry about that okay so it is saying that the dbus can also communicate with this slave okay and uh, and at the end the dbus can also talk to the flash okay so that you already know okay to fetch the data so that means in this microcontroller the bus matrix allows master to use its d bus to communicate with four different slaves okay so that's the privilege which is given by the bus matrix this may not be true in another microcontroller 
where the bus matrix may say that hey i don't allow you to talk to uh, fsmc i don't allow you to talk to sram2 that's possible a uh, microcontroller can put that restriction okay when they design the bus matrix okay but in this microcontroller so there is a privilege for your processor to use dbus to talk to these four different slaves great so now let me erase everything okay so now let's take another example now let's check ibus so the bus matrix of this processor allows the master to use its ibus to talk to only two different slaves okay that is fsmc and the flash that's it so that also means that bus matrix will not allow ibus to talk to sram1 or sram2 or hp2 bus or hp1 bus okay so that privilege is not given okay so now let me take s bus bus matrix will not allow s bus to access the flash memory did you get that okay so if someone asks you so hey in your microcontroller can i use s bus to access the flash memory you have to say oh let me check my bus matrix what it says and you have to check here there is no circle present isn't it so then you have to say no you cannot access the flash memory over s bus okay okay so that's about the cortex m master communicating to different slaves okay with the help of bus matrix okay so the bus matrix is this complex uh, electronic circuitries which will uh, implement all these rules okay so that's what i wanted to mention about bus matrix okay great so now i will see you in the next lecture with one more interesting lecture till then bye